In rural Wyoming, it's hard to imagine life beyond the great outdoors and the small shops that make up the local economy. But a handful of northern Wyoming businesses are breaking out of the small town mentality and thinking about a much bigger picture. The Wyoming Business Council has offered small businesses across the state the opportunity to make connections with the country of Taiwan to export goods from the Wild West to a market eager for American products. Amy Quick is the Northwest Regional Director for the Wyoming Business Council. She says in a state that's trying to expand its economic base, the opportunities are exciting. Part of the purpose of the Wyoming Business Council is to help support businesses of all different sizes and to prepare them if they're ready and interested in exporting. And this specific to Taiwan came about when then Governor Meade was visiting Taiwan and was over there and saw Idaho beef on the menu. And he said, why isn't there Wyoming beef on the menu? So it was really a big effort of the governor's office and the Wyoming Business Council to make that happen. Val Murray is a fourth generation farmer from Powell. She says the farming and ranching industry is changing fast and their family is trying to find new ways to compete. We are um, conception to consumption feedlot operation, so we raise all of our own beef from the time they're born until the time they actually are shipped. Val says that Murray Mirror Farms was the first to take advantage of the opportunity to export their beef to Taiwan, and now they're paving the way for other growers to follow their lead. We're sending a very small portion over, which means we have to sell a lot of it domestically. So we're trying to find a margin there to help other producers in Wyoming so that we can get a bigger market. We have all kinds of importers wanting Wyoming beef. Other small businesses in Northwest Wyoming are looking to link to the Taiwan opportunity. Jesse Renforce is the owner and operator of Cody Coffee Roasters, which has grown swiftly from a portable peanut roaster to three locations in Cody alone. Now he's taking steps to export his coffee to Taiwan. It's been a, a longer process than expected. Uh, you know, there's a lot of schedules to try to mesh to try to figure this all out uh, we've got to do some packaging changes and stuff like that to kind of appeal to that asian market jesse points out that on his own he wouldn't know the first thing about exporting to taiwan but he says the wyoming business council has the resources to make this possible oh it's unbelievable the support that we get from the wyoming business council is is epic i mean it definitely helps us out a lot we're always looking for answers and I roast coffee, I don't have all those answers, so I'm trying to learn as we go, and they've been a great resource to really lean on to help us grow so exponentially. In a state that's struggling to break away from the boom and bust cycle of the mineral industry, these businesses are finding ways to make sure Wyoming has a place in the global economy. For the Cowboy State Daily, I'm Wendy Kaur.